Hello, welcome to this video from InSource Productions, where today we'll be talking about installing Dream Report version 4.6 release 4. My name is Lewis Talley. Let's first begin by going and downloading the latest version of software and hotfixes which can be found from the Wonderware website in the URL listed on the slide you're seeing. In this case, there's a hotfix that's released for the product. So we're going to download two things. We're going to download the software version 4.6 release 4, the ISO, and we're also going to download the hotfix. And once we've finished downloading them, let's go through a walkthrough of what the installation looks like. I am now running a virtual machine where I have downloaded and mounted the ISO for the Dream Report installer. And it's always a good idea to read the release notes as it covers things like new features, supported operating systems, etc. It's a simple read. I think it's about 10 pages long. Like I said, it's a good idea to do. So let's go through and just run the installer. We'll go through and we'll select the Dream Report setup.exe. We're going to see that it's going to install some prerequisite software if it's not already installed. So I'll go through and do that. Okay, we finished installing the prerequisites. Now we can go through and select to install Dream Report. Remember to go through and carefully read the end user licensing agreement. I can select an install destination folder. Now this screen allows me to decide what I want to install, whether it's connectivity drivers, the different components of Dream Report. So in this case, there's a lot of different component drivers that I can install. So I'm going to install some database drivers. I'm going to install the Wonderware drivers. And that's really all that I care about because we're going to be doing some stuff with a demo. Uh, probably uh, also put the Modbus Ethernet driver on here as well. Okay, so the installer has completed. We're now being prompted to reboot the computer. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we need to apply the hotfix per the instructions listed in the download file. So the, hot flick, the hotfix includes three DLLs and the corresponding PDP files. To apply the hotfix, we're going to need to stop any running Dream Report project, close the Dream Report Studio, and place the files in the directory shown here, which, unless you altered it from the default, it's c colon backslash ods Dream Report system. So all I'm going to do is select the DLLs and PDP files, copy them, and paste them into the destination. Remember to select the top option because the DLLs are already there and we're replacing them with newer versions. So I'll say do this for the next two conflicts. And there you have it. It's installed. Let's verify it works properly by opening up the Dream Report Studio. The icon is found on the desktop. Double click to launch. Note the version numbers there, and it opens. The next video, we'll talk about how to build a simple batch report. Interested in learning more about our training tracks that we now offer? They're a great way to take the guesswork out of which class should I take and when should I take it. Check out the link at the bottom of this slide. Thank you for your time and watching today.